Hi guys, welcome back to the third little episode in this mini-series. So we are proving all of the circle theorems. This is the third one, and in my opinion it's the most simple to prove, but only because we've laid the groundwork with the other two theorems. In particular, we're going to be making use of the first circle theorem, which says the angle at the centre is twice that of the angle at the circumference. So let's take a look at this one. What does it say? It says angles in the same segment are equal. And let's take a look at the wording of the question. So it says A, B, C and D are points on the circumference. Prove that angle A, B, D and A, C, D are equal. So A, B, D is this angle here. And A, C, D is this one. So we're trying to prove that these angles are equal. Now, what it means by angles in the same segment is if we draw a chord from A to D, which would be a straight, this is one segment and the other segment is the rest of the circle. Okay, so how do we go about proving this? Well, as is usual with these circle theorems, we draw radius or radii. So let's draw one from A to O and one from O to D. So, what do we have now? Well, hopefully this should look familiar, and it's exactly the case of the first circle theorem. So we've got two radius, A to O and A to D, so I'll write that down, A, O, A, D, radii, and now we've got this angle here, and this angle here. So what circle theorem number one tells us is that if this is x, then this is 2x. But we also have the same situation here. So if we draw this little diagram, we have the exact same situation for circle theorem number one. So it tells us if this is x, then this is 2x. And that is it basically done. We're making use of the first circle theorem. So by circle theorem 1, um, the angle at the circumference is twice the angle at the centre. Because we're in this situation where we've got two angles on the circumference and they connect to the same point at the centre, we can see that they must be equal. So I hope this makes sense. We're basically using the fact that Circle theorem 1 tells us that the angle on the circumference is half that of the angle at the center. And because we've got two angles on the circumference, they're both half the angle at the center, and so they're both equal. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.